Hi everyone and welcome to day four in the iron series and today it is full body. We're going to be using primarily compound movements and it's a circuit. We have one circuit, three rounds. Within the circuit there are nine exercises in total. The timer is going to be on 40 seconds of work with 20 second rest. We simply perform the circuit three times. In between each circuit, we have 40 second rest. So a little bit more rest there before we go into the next set. All you'll need for today's workout is your mat, some dumbbells and a yoga block or step or something just to elevate those heels for some heel elevated squats. The dumbbells I'm using for your reference are 17 and a half kg each. I will also be using 10 kg each. This circuit is sort of broke into two parts. So the first five exercises, I will be using my heavier weights. The next four exercises, those lighter weights. So I know many of you like to know the weights that I'm using and then you can sort of gauge as to where you are. So yes, the first five exercises, 17 and a half kgs. The last four exercises, 10 kgs. Aside from obviously making the weights applicable for you, also the movements. So for example, lunges, you may prefer a slightly wider stance than me or closer. Also bent over rows, I do tend to come over that good bit for my bent over rows just to prevent too much work on my traps, but it is completely up to you. Again, you may feel comfortable coming not so low or even more so, so you're even more parallel with the floor. When it comes to RDLs, think about really exaggerating your chest, Think about exaggerating your glutes, stick them back and up. Chest open, you're gonna keep the dumbbells close to the body, slide down, just even the knee depth, so long as you're feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, and rise up. Over time and over the number of sets, you may notice you get that little bit lower, but you certainly do not need to go past your knees in order to do the RDL. So long as you're feeling that stretch in the hamstrings, keeping your chest open and not aggravating your lower back. And the finisher, it's a fun wee two minutes. We have 40 seconds of maker, as you can see here, simply into a push up, renegade row, renegade row, hop forward or step forward into then curls, gonna stand and push press back down to that push up. That's for 40 seconds. We then have 20 seconds just alternating rear lunges, back into the maker for 40, finishing with alternating rear lunges. For the cool down today, I might do slightly longer of a cool down, so just in case you see this video, maybe looking that little bit longer, the workout itself is still approximately 30 minutes. So yes, have fun with this workout. We're only doing three sets per exercise, so give it your all. Your heart rate is definitely gonna be elevated, but you're still gonna perform perfect reps. Let's go.
Cause I need it now. Money is a in it. I 